Hello friends, this is Steve Bivar and welcome to in our YouTube channel in Google Forms and thank you for joining in Google Forms. So in this video, I am going to discuss one of the most important uh, C sub collection concept is nothing but array list. Okay, so now in this video, I am going to discuss about array list collection. Okay, so now let's get started without wasting our time. So here I have opened my video studio 2017. So now in this I have a uh, collection folder so I am going to insert a class in this folder so suppose array list con okay so uh, I have inserted one class here so I am going to work with the uh, array list collections class so I already have discussed in the previous video the array list is available in system dot collections namespace so it is not required so the uh, so using system dot collections okay so now uh, first we need to set a word main so what I have said first we need to create the instance of array list class so array list a is equal to new array list so now first I want to show you something. So I have already said I already have said the array list and or collection is auto resizing and dynamically we can increase the size and decrease the size of the collection. So now first I want to show you the initial capacity of this array list class. So control dot drive line. So a list dot capacity. Okay, so now you can see so control dot line. I want to run this class uh, error list for this is now we need to set here this is for here now uh, save press F5 now you can see the capacity is 0 so this is the 0 capacity without which inserting any element I have not inserted any item here so first now it is the initial capacity but we can also give the uh, initial capacity suppose I want to give 5 so now our uh, initial capacity is 5 so it will say 5 now you can see I have run this class okay fine so now I am not going to use uh, our providing the initial capacity now so I need to add some item so suppose a list dot add a list dot add I want to add something suppose 11 Okay, now I want to check the initial capacity. Now initial capacity is 4, but first time it is showing 0. So what is this? This is nothing but actually what I have said is the auto resizing. So initially it is 0. Initially this capacity is 0. But when I have insert one item, this will be 4. So what is this? Actually it is first time 0. When I have insert one item, it will be four. So after inserting four item, the, now see the magic. Actually, it is not magic. It's the concept. A list dot add. Okay. So double two. I want to insert. I want to copy this. Okay. So okay. double two. Double three. Now see the output. Capacity is 4. Now, then I have I am going to insert the new list dot add and I am going to insert one more item that is fifth item. Okay, now it is the fifth item. Okay, this is the fifth item. So now check the capacity, it will be capacity will be 8. Why? Because now before. The fifth item before that this item it will be four now it will be four because I am going to run only four items okay when I have going to insert when I am going to insert one more item that's that means fifth item now our value the capacity value will be eight so now first run this class and see so it will be eight so what is this it is nothing but initially zero now after that four after 8, 
after 60. So what is this? It is nothing but it is going to double. The value will be the double. Capacity value will be double. Okay. So this is the uh, advantage of working with Alexa. So now let's see one more concept here. So it is now I have I am going to buy uh, a triple five. Okay. So now it is no problem. Capacity will be five. No problem. Okay. Now then I am going to insert one more item here. Okay. One more item here. So what it is good? What will be going? Now you can see the where item well uh, capacity will be ten because I have declared here initial is five. Now it is our user defined. You can say it is the user defined. Okay, so now it is the So this is the concept available for at least class. So now, so this is one property available here. So here, so many properties down. So I am going to use down. So you can see now total six. Okay, so this is the property available. It is fixed size, is read only items. So like that, so many properties here. So now. I am going to get rid of this so I'm also not going to use this in its category. Okay, it is not required. So first it is also not required for me right now. So what I am going to do is I want to print this these values. So in the I in list. Okay, so I want to print console dot right line. Now see the output. Okay, it will be given 11, 12, 52, 33, 40. Okay, suppose I want to insert some one more value here in the middle of this. Uh, suppose I have here it is my 44. So okay, no problem. 33. So I want to insert here some value. Okay, but I am not inserting here. I want to insert after printing this. Okay, so a list. Dot. So what I can do here? Insert. Insert. Okay. So here I am not insert. What it is asking? Index position and object object effect. Okay. So so I am giving here the index position is uh, this position is zero one two. So actually I want to print the after twenty two. So the index position will be two. Okay. So Two here two comma I want to suppose print to twenty five okay it is twenty five now I want to print again for loop by using for loop the same okay suppose here now this no problem I need anything this up to I am take the equal of any comment so actually there is more name dimension so because for a national purpose I pick another variable now you can see okay it is same time so that's why I need that time now you can see so I have inserted here in, in, into the middle okay so it is nothing but dynamically inserted value in the middle of this one more concept available here I want to suppose insert a Okay. Sorry, remove and remove it. Suppose I want to remove this page 33. So how can I remove? So first when I I am seeing here here total 11, 22, 25, 33, and 44. Okay, now I want to remove this 33 value. So a list dot remove. Okay. So we can remove two ways. So first I am going to specify Okay, now you can see the third T is not available now. The second also is there. It is third T is not available. This this one. Okay. So now we can also remove this value in another way. So I am going to a list dot 
remove x remove x okay so what i am going to do i suppose i want to remove uh, suppose that is nothing but index position okay i want to remove this uh, 22 22 is earlier index position is 1 because our always is uh, array and selection always start from 0 that's why i am using index position is 1 index position is 1 is 22 okay the twenty value is the index position is 1 so now you can see the output here 44 uh, sorry 33 is gone and 22 so 22 is gone because index position is 1 0 and 1 Position is 22, 22 is not available in this second row. So, so this is the some uh, important concept, uh, important advantages are available working with collections. Uh, okay, so arrays. In the next video, I am going to discuss about the. So here we can also reverse the values. Uh, get rid of this. Not that I am going to reverse this. All the values here. Okay, and so. First, we need dot reverse. Let's reverse. Okay. So now you can see the output with the forty-four, thirty-three, twenty-two, and eleven. Now see the output. It is the magic. It is not magic. It is the advantages of collections. Okay. So now, like that, we can do it. Speech of collections. So in the next video, I am going to discuss hash table. Okay, so don't forget to miss that video. So thank you guys and all the best.